Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Boost your Python programming and automation skills in 2023 by connecting ChatGPT. This comprehensive tutorial will guide you through the integration process making AI-assisted coding a reality. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, for this specific ChatGPT and Python tutorial, I will be using ChatGPT to help us go step by step. So here, as you can see, you will have to get three things. You will have, first of all, to get your OpenAI account. You will have to get your API key and then install the API, uh, OpenAI Python library. So to do that, simply you have to go to either CMD and write pip install. And here basically the installation should be started. Or you can go to your PowerShell and install it as well. So here for example, pip install open AI. And then as you can see, give it some time and it should start downloading. So a new release pip is available to update. You have to run this. So let me just copy it. Here we go. Um, let me just copy all of that. Maybe it should be like that. Yep, here it is. So now all we need to do is wait for it until it is full installed. So now it is installing collected packages. And here is a new version of Python that I have to upgrade. So let me just do the same thing and there i have it and then click here and do the same thing so it's just like the same thing going over and over and there we have it so now it is uh, officially upgraded and updated to the latest versions so now once more pip install open ai and let's see if it's going to work and there we go so for now it has been installed successfully and we have installed the OpenAI or ChatGPT uh, API or like library that we have on Python. Now following it to the next step. So here, you use the OpenAI Python library. So now you can use the OpenAI Python library in your Python code. Here's an example of how to connect to ChatGPT and have a conversation with it. So basically, we have done everything and we have already imported like the Python library. So, and for those who don't know how to all, like import ChatGPT into your own code, simply just write import OpenAI and here you have to put your API key. So where to have it, basically you have to go to OpenAI, click here, wait, log in. And here I will go to the API, personal, view API keys, and here are your keys. So simply what you have to do is to create a new secret key or copy a key that you have already created. So you can simply click here, name it for example as Python API key, create secret key, and there we have it, copy it and paste it in this place right over here. OpenAI.API key equals API key, which is this one. And then you just have to create a dev, which is a prompt. So response equals OpenAI completion queries. So engine equals text, DaVinci 002 is just an example, use the ChatGPT engine. And basically here they are just going to help you make a conversation with the uh, chat GPT. So basically this is how it's gonna be. So here we go. Conversation. You, hello chat GPT, tell me a joke. And basically response will be equal to chat with GPT conversation. The conversation will be equal to response plus why did the chicken, for example, etc. So the conversation will be the same as you can communicate here with ChatGPT, but it will be as your own Python code. So this is basically our calling a bot, which is your bot, but actually it is uh, ChatGPT. So your bot is just 
uh, transferring the messages that someone or the user of your bot is asking it and transferring to ChatGPT, asking ChatGPT with that message and receiving the message from ChatGPT, then sending it to that user. So it's playing the role of a middle third or a third party uh, app so here it is so then you can basically adjust the parameters so you can adjust parameters like max tokens to control the response length and other parameters so basically this max tokens it will just this is for example the max amount of letters that it can be sent in one text so it is 150 letters of character and then here remember api uses limits so be aware of your api uses limits and any associated costs as OpenAI's API might be subject to rate limits and charges based on users so put that in mind guys and basically just with that or what I've so showed you at the beginning which is setting up your account and getting your API key and this is the most important thing which is going to pip install OpenAI you will be able just like that to connect chat GPT with your Python so the same goes for uh, PowerShell and CMD. So let me just go to CMD. The same thing, as you can see. But uh, here, yeah, here it is. It has been installed. Nothing is actually um, different since for now I have it already. So uh, OpenAI is already installed. That's why they have told me that the requirements are already satisfied. So we have already these things in my PC. I don't really have to re-download them once more. So this is just the case for me. This is some information that you should know. So CMD, PowerShell, anything that is a terminal uh, console, you can work on it. It will not make any difference. And for those who are using VS Code, so here we go, VS Code. Basically, VS Code is pretty much the same. So you just have to create a new file. And here, make it that it is um, selected language. Let's make it Python. So here, we're going to search for Python. Here we go. And this is the Python code. So let's try it out. Let's try to copy this and put it to the test. Import. Uh, let's paste it here and it is very very working without any problems and so as you can see even open AI is not showing me any problems it is not a red they're not giving us like this red light over here everything is working perfectly if you try to debug the code you will be making it working without problems so hi uh, hi, the term hi is not recognized since we have added this as text definition 002 and in general basically it should be working for you you just have to verify some path and of course here you must put your API key do not forget about that if you didn't put your API key there they will not send you any message and basically guys that was it for today's video thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial